Hello everyone, this is Ina. Today let's look at how you can be able to highlight certain data points in a graph in Excel. We are going to do this on a bar chart, but it can be applied to a line or a combo chart by following the same procedure or principle. So our sample data shows the monthly revenue for a fictional company and a bar chart showing that information. The bar chart shows a highlight for all data points with a revenue of more than 1 million. And we've shown in red the month with the lowest revenue. This graph responds to our data when it changes. So if we should change the month of November so that it becomes the month with the lowest revenue, our graph will respond and highlight November as a month with the lowest revenue. Let's jump right into it and see how this can be done. This is our data. Let's insert a bar chart with Alt F1. So now that we have our bar chart, what we have to do is we have to create another series for only data that matches our criteria. So by inspection, we could have just created a series like this for math with a revenue of more than 1 million. But to make sure that our graph responds, let's do it with a formula. So if this figure is greater than one million then just show c3 else not show not available then let's drag this thing down now it's time to edit our graph to include the new series so we can uh, delete this select the data and insert a bar chart ticket the highlighted bars are to the side of our regular bars so let's change that with a few options right click on any bar at all go to format data series make sure the series option tab is highlighted and then come to series overlap Make it hundred percent, and then change the gap width to maybe one fifty. The series overlap causes the two series to become one, for one to lie on top of the other, and the gap width reduces the gap between the bars, and in a sense makes the bars bigger. So that is it. We have been able to highlight our first range. Let's look at the highlight for the lowest figure. Enter lowest and this time our formula is going to be this way. If C3 is equal to the minimum of the whole revenue range, then keep C3 else not available again. And then we drag this one down to fill our range. And now that we have done this, we have to add that to the range again. Because we've already done whatever settings we need on this bar chart, let's not delete it and insert a new one, but rather let's edit it. So come to chart design. Make sure your chart is selected. Come to chart design and click on select data chat data ring click on this top arrow and reselect our data and then go to ok so this is what the result that we will have this is the result that we will have let's change the colors to match the data we are trying to 
port 3. Let's change the regular bars to a bit of gray there. 1 million plus should be blue and the lowest man should be red. Let's come to our uh, legend. Let's remove the details for the production. I think we can see in our chat that these are revenues for a period. That's it. We don't really need all these columns that are acting as our filter columns. So let's hide them. And when we hide it, all the work we've done so far goes away. To fix that, let's change a few options. Select the chart, come to chart to design, select data, and then at the bottom, click on hidden and empty cells. Take the option that says shows data in hidden rows and columns. Data, our graphs gets back to its old look. That's it. This can be applied in various ways. Here, we have it applied to a line chart. Here you can see a data point having two highlights. That's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.